Now, the Arab Spring has put a spotlight on other African leaders who have been in power for decades. The demise of Gaddafi and the fall of other Arab leaders has, has the leaders in some sub-Saharan sub African countries wondering if they also could become the targets of revolutionaries. VOS Pondio has more. Three of the ten longest-serving leaders in Africa have fallen this year. Ben Ali of Tunisia, who ruled for 23 years, Hossein Mubarak of Egypt in power for 30 years, and Libya's former leader, Mama Gaddafi, who ruled for 42 years. Now, Teodol Obiang of Equatorial Guinea and Jos Eduardo dos Santos of Angola take the number one spot as the longest serving presidents with 32 years of ruling their countries respectively. There are other long-serving leaders in Zimbabwe, Cameroon, Congo Brazzaville, and Uganda. Equatorial Guinea's President Teodol Obiang Nguema, 68 years old, he has been in power for 32 years after seizing power in a military coup in August of 1979. In November 2009, he was re-elected for a seven-year term, winning over 95% of the vote. Angolan President Jos Eduardo dos Santos, 68 years old, he has been in power for 32 years. Angola's president assumed the presidency of the Mino-rich country in 1979, four years into a civil war with the Unita rebels that ended only in 2002. His ruling party won a landslide 2008 victory, leaving rivals in Tatars. Dos Santos changed the constitution and boosted his powers. Zimbabwe's president Robert Mugabe, 87 years old. Following independence, Robert Mugabe became Zimbabwe's first prime minister in April of 1980. He became president in 1987, an office he still holds today. In February 2009, Mugabe and Prime Minister Morgan Changarai's movement for democratic change were forced into a coalition government. Cameroon's President Paul Beer, 78 years old. President Beer has been in power for 29 years. He was re-elected by almost 80% of the vote in October for another seven-year term. A 2008 constitutional amendment removed term limits in Cameroon. President Denis Sassongweso of Congo Brazzaville, 67 years old. He has ruled the West African nation for 26 years, in power all but five of the last 32 years. Sassongweso seized power in 1979, but then lost in the country's first multi-party elections in 1992 to scientist Pascal Lisuba. Ngweso regained the presidency in 1997 after a civil war and was re-elected in 2004 for another seven-year term. Uganda's uh, President uh, General Yoweri Museveni, 68 years old, Museveni has been in power for now 25 years. He seized Kampala after a five-year guerrilla war in 1986. And uh, Museveni banned multi-party politics until 1996. Museveni was re-elected in 2011 with 68% of the vote and his main rival, Kiza Besije, received 26%. Analysts watching Sub-Saharan Africa say although recent rebellions have been so far limited to North Africa, increasingly there are protests against regimes in other parts of the continent triggered by economic conditions, high food and fuel prices, poor job opportunities or service delivery. And they say that African leaders could be taking notice of this trend, as in Zambia where ex-president Rupia Banda graciously accepted defeat this year and made a voluntary exit from power. Paul Liho, VOA News.